Okay, so for 11.4, number one, I have a function that's f of x is x plus 2. That's not x plus 2. That's x plus 2 over x squared minus 1. And they're asking, is this a rational function, yay or nay? Yes. Why? So what you need to be a rational function is you need to be a polynomial over a polynomial. So asking, is this a rational function, is equivalent to asking, is this a fraction where the top is a polynomial and the bottom is a polynomial? Yeah, the top so is a monomial. The top is, is a binomial that's made out of a number added to a variable. Right? So that's a polynomial. Yeah. And the bottom is definitely a polynomial. Is quadratic. Definitely a polynomial because it's a quadratic. So yes. This is um rational. Yes, this is rational. Uh, and just as a bonus problem, let's look at number six. Oh. So it also says that you have to identify P and Q. Oh, so I can just so <coughs> on this, that's p of x is x plus 2, and q of x is x squared minus 1. Okay, that's all I have to do. Okay. Okay. So, bonus, number 6. So, number 6 has, miss this thing? f of x is x cubed over 2x squared plus... 1 over 6. Okay. Mm. Is that a rational function? Can you combine no. the bottom? Yes. Can you combine the top and the bottom? Can you combine the top and the bottom? No, no, I meant like x cubed plus 1 over x, 2x squared plus 6. That would. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> you're both, I think, making the same statement, which is currently this is not a rational function. It's a sum of two rational functions. But then you're also noticing that you could probably just find a common bottom and sort that out. Yeah. You guys see that? So your common bottom would be. You didn't have common bottom. What? Your common bottom would be. It's a little overkill, but sure. Why is that a little overkill? You're going to get 6x squared. Yeah, you probably do 6x squared, right? Like, okay. the, on this part, looking at 2x squared, you need a 2 and then an x and an x. And looking at 6, you need a 2 and a 3. Right, so your common bottom, worst case, you need a 2, a pair of x's, and then to account for the 6, you need yet another I would advise against doing the other thing. Why? Just multiplying all together. Because if your function looks like. But you can just simplify it afterwards. Uh, yeah, you can just simplify it afterwards as long as it's not too complicated. So if it's like g of x is uh, 4 over x minus 2 plus 3x minus 1 over x squared minus 4 minus 37 over x to the 8th minus 1 or something? Jesus Christ. Yeah, right. that's, like, that's straight out of hell. OK, that's fine. Like, I'll make it I'm just saying x like squared that. minus 1. But that's if you multiply all these together, you're going to get an extra factor of x minus 2. Right. And then you won't end up with a quadratic. You'll end up with a cubic on the top. And you won't be able to solve it. Well, with this one, I just did it because it's a 6. Yeah, okay. And with this one, it's a 6, dude, so don't. Yeah. I did it. I didn't just overthink it. I was like, okay. You got 6 over 12. Yeah, obviously, I just had a piece of that. Basically, I'm just trying to encourage. I to at the end, I'm trying to encourage good habits now so that we don't have to deal with that. But that requires some. Massagery? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so at any rate, you can find yourself a common bottom here. Uh, what does this guy need? That one needs a 3. So you got 3x cubed over 2x squared. Yeah. So, what? Is it 
Six. You get to multiply the top by three, <laughs> not do anything to the bottom. Who let you do that? And then this other guy. Just kidding. You need an X squared. Top and bottom. It's got a two. <laughs> it was already in there. Okay, so then you got 3x squared, uh, 3x cubed plus x squared all over 6x squared. And that is definitely rational. Could you factor and simplify this? Probably. Oh, yeah. So could I have noticed that I could factor out an x squared back here? <coughs> yeah. Would that have been a good idea? No. Probably. Right? At any rate, this is now a rational function for sure. Let's call this. Yeah.